What is the run test of randomness? Why do we perform this test? And how to perform this run test? In this video, we will try to understand that. The run test is used to test for randomness. This test is often used to determine whether the data is from a random process. For example, let's say we toss a coin 15 times and we get the following sequence of heads and tails. Now, we want to know whether the coin is biased or not. In other words, we want to know whether the sequence of heads and tails is completely random. To determine this, we can perform a run test. Now, let's understand what a run is. A run is defined as a series of consecutive values of the same type. For example, in the above example, we get the following sequence of heads and tails. So, HH is one run, T is one run, then HHHH is one run and so on. So, all total, we got eight runs. Now, we need to define certain variables. Let N be the total number of observations in the sample. N1 is the number of observations of the first type. N2 is the number of observations of the second type. And R is the total number of runs. So, in our case, N is equal to 15, N1 is equal to 9, N2 is equal to 6, and R is equal to 8. Now, the test statistic can be calculated in the following way. If N1 and N2 are both less than or equal to 20, then our test statistic is equal to R. If at least one of N1 and N2 is more than 20, then our test statistic is calculated in the following way. Z0 is equal to R minus mu R divided by sigma R and mu R is equal to 2N1N2 divided by N plus 1 and sigma R is equal to root of R 2N1N2 into 2N1N2 minus N divided by N square into N minus 1. When N1 and N2 are less than or equal to 20, we look at the run table to get the critical value. And if at least one of N1 and N2 is more than 20, we look at the Z table to get the critical value and compare the critical value with the test statistic to determine whether the null hypothesis should be accepted. Now, let's look back at our example. The null hypothesis in our case is that the data is from a random process. In other words, the coin is unbiased. And the alternative hypothesis is that the data is not random. In other words, the coin is biased. Let's also assume that the level of significance alpha is 0.05. Now, in our case, both N1 and N2 are less than 20. So, our test statistic is equal to the number of runs that is R that is equal to 8. Now, we will look at the run table to find out the critical value. Here is a run table. In our case, N1 is the number of observations of one kind, that is the number of observations of heads, that is equal to 9. And N2 is the number of observations of tails, that is equal to 6. We get the critical values 4 and 13 for alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Our test statistic is 8, which is more than the lower critical value and less than the upper critical value. Hence, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we can conclude that the coin is unbiased. Now, let's look at another example where one of N1 and N2 is more than 20. Let's say there is a hospital. In a particular hour of the day, the patients come in the following sequence. Here, M indicates a male patient and F indicates a female patient. So, 
in our case n is the total number of observations that is equal to 41 n1 is the number of observations of the first type that is the number of male patients that is equal to 22 n2 is the number of observations of the second time that is equal to the number of female patients that is 19 r is the total number of runs that is equal to 19 as n1 is more than 20 so our test statistic is z0 is equal to r minus mu r by sigma r mu r is equal to 2 n1 n2 by n plus 1 and sigma r is equal to root over 2 n1 n2 into 2 n1 n2 minus n divided by n square into n minus 1 If we put all the values, then mu r is equal to twenty one point three nine after calculation. Sigma r is equal to three point one four three eight after calculation, and z zero is equal to minus zero point seven six. Now we can look at the z table to find out the critical value. Here is the standard normal distribution table. We will look at the negative z table. as the z score is negative we will look at row minus 0.7 and column 0.06 to find out the area under the curve on the left side of the z score we get 0.22363 as the standard normal distribution graph is symmetric the area on the right side of the z score 0.76 also will be 0.22363 So the total area is two into zero point two two three six three. That is zero point four four seven two six. As this value is more than zero point zero five, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we can conclude that the patients arrived at the hospital in a random manner. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more. please visit the website of the security body or refer to the playlist statistics for machine learning the relevant links are provided in the description you may also want to subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos